Hey, real talk day. Uh, I want to talk about dead naming. I'm thinking about a lot about these sort of real talk style videos, and I was like, why don't I go through some concepts that are apparently hard for people to grasp when introduced by the people that they actually affect, but as a six foot tall white dude, apparently I'm more worth listening to than them. So yeah, dead naming. Dead naming is the act or practice of referring to a person by a name that is no longer theirs. It is a name that they have left behind for whatever reason. It's most often used in reference to people who have gone through a transition. And I'd use an, I could use an example here like, well, somebody goes from being Larry to being Chantel, then when you call them Larry, the point is that they were always Chantel. Larry is the what makes Larry a dead name is that Larry is gone. In fact, arguably, Larry never existed. Chantel was just easily confused with Larry for a while. It's the kind of thing that often, especially if you know someone who's transitioning, it seems really hard, or the argument is made that it is really hard to relearn someone's name. But again, that is not what you are doing. You are learning their actual name. We do this all the time. For example, whenever someone gets married and changes their name. In fact, not only do we do it, we're excited as fuck to do it. We're like, yes, you are now Mrs. So-and-so. Damn, well done. High fives because this is, the, this is a thing you wanted to do with your life and we take joy in it. Arthur Chu, I think, had a really good tweet about nobody dead names the Pope, but it's the same process. The Pope takes a new name when he goes when he becomes the Pope, and he leaves his old name behind, and that's who he's going to be for basically ever. Because I mean, he's in there for life, or near as you can tell. The reason why dead naming is important, the reason why I bring it up, the reason why I'm doing a whole video about it is because doing it fails to acknowledge someone's legitimate identity. Or worse, it delegitimizes their actual identity. This is bad for trans people who already face an incredible amount of discrimination and oppression from the nice liberal part that you, you think of, let alone forget like the whole right-wing religious movements that you always think are the bad guys. I mean, both aisles are coming together on that particular issue in a lot of ways. Deadnaming is a form of harassment. Persistently deadnaming somebody, persistently denying their actual identity is harassment and it is awful now, the pope the pope doesn't really have to worry about that neither does the edge i think john oliver did a piece on uh trans rights and he talked about people like p diddy and the edge and people who have changed their name for stage reasons and we never fail to acknowledge them nobody's like you know puff daddy sorry I always call him Sean Combs. By the way, that Sean Combs is Puff Daddy's real name. I don't know why I know that, but I do. Um, but he is Puff Daddy. I assume his like kids don't call him Puff Daddy because it is a stage name, but it's legally changed for a while. Or The Edge from U2. You know, this is a thing that people do. When performers do it, they're assuming a stage identity. But when people conduct their real lives by it, you need to respect that. Do not dead name people. It is bad. This has been your talk for today. I will see you tomorrow. The light on my camera is blinking.